Which one's mine? That's mine. Brother, uh. the car's a mess. What's that? So what do I take with me when I go away racing? Either working for Club 100 or myself racing? Let's have a look. First of all, Obviously, we got the crash helmet. My old Arai, trusty Arai. Did have a Steedo before, but as you've probably seen from all my other videos, I have smashed it to pieces. Sam Dimolo is shaken, not stirred. So let's have a look at it again. Goodness me, that's a big amount of air. Here is my GoPro mount, which you've regularly seen in my videos. I have a radio fit, well, I don't actually have the radio fit right now, but have intercom set up for it for when I do go race like BPEC with Apollo Racing or any other team who fancies paying me to drive. I mean, that's there if you fancy doing it, but you see the radio wire here, goes to the microphone in the front of the crash helmet, and then obviously the ear pads are in here. I take with me as well multiple, let's have a look, multiple, multiple sets of gloves. Loads of them. So going for the gloves, I've got my Finn Stammer gloves, my Torque ones. You can see you get used a lot, very regularly. I've got an old pair of Alpine Stars I use for probably when it's raining because they're nice and thick. They've got a couple of little holes just there. You might be able to see it. Don't know if you can. If I put it on there, you'll see it for sure. A little hole here in both. That's where I'll grip the steering wheel when it's just rubbed. I also have my other pair of old Alpine stars I use for the rain. Nice, once again, nice and thick with the same hole in it. This one's a bit more obvious. No, it's in both on the left hand as well. I'm not sure why. And then after that, I've got a fourth pair of gloves which I use. They're a bit dirty at the moment. I use them GYG and I haven't had a chance to wash them. Um, I'm trying to use these more and more for my videos because obviously I see my channel name on it, which all promotions, good promotion. From there on, I have my, hit it, P1 being repaired, but I literally don't do any carting in any cart without wearing this. And I've broke my ribs, years ago I broke my ribs and they never fully healed properly. It's just constant pain and it's definitely not what you want when you're racing. So this really does firm it up. I know there's loads of other brands, but I've tried a lot of them and the Tillit P1 is for me the best one. Um, it also works well in like rental carting because it is padded on the inside. Like you can see, let's move that out of the way. So it is kind of padded, you can see it squeezing in. It does fill you out in the cart seat quite nicely. So rental carts obviously usually have a one size fits all type thing. So that really helps. Inside my kit bag. This bag, by the way, was from Lidl's about 10 years ago. I paid 14 quid for one. Bought two of them, as you probably saw the other one in the back of my car. My one and the next one. In here, I've got my trusty Pumas. This is what I use 99% of the time. You see it wearing out, but they're super comfortable. Really, really fit me well. And nice, super thin sole on these. Just so you can feel the pedal, you can feel everything. Doesn't really help when you walk around carting paddocks because they're usually full of gravel. And uh, the fin sole really does take toll on your feet. I have a gilet in here, once again. 
club on as your GD for when I'm working. Just on those nippier days, put it on. Doesn't take up a lot of room, but smells smells pretty much like a cart track right nowadays. Race suit number one for when I'm working for Club 100. Got my Club 100 race suit. It's a MIR one. All matched in the front. Really comfortable, surprisingly comfortable race suit for an MIR. Before I worked for Club 100, I never had one of these brands of suits before. I always had custom suits or team suits. The only downside I can really tell from this race suit, from my couple of years of wearing it now, it gets hot. Oh my God, I mean, it's a black suit anyway, so that really attracts the heat, attracts the sunlight. But it is quite a thick suit. I've definitely had a lot of thinner suits and it gets hot in here. I also have a secondary suit, which is like a backup in case the first one gets soaked. So you kind of get caught out in the rain. Um, a couple of old sponsors on it. My name on the back. Um, for a team which we used to run, which if you don't know, run a very successful team. We ran Toby Sowery, who races at LMP2 now. Um, Ollie Gray, who's a Williams junior driver. Um, plus multiple others. We've gone on to do cars, won British championships in karting, stuff like that. So this is a edge race suit. Like I said, it's a custom suit made to fit my uh, my body size. The only thing I regretted doing on this suit was I never got a belt for some reason. Never got a belt fitted. So when they made it, didn't have a belt fitted. I kind of regret that. I like the feel of a good belt. And then the last thing in my bag, uh, the second last thing in my bag, is a wetsuit. It is a, what is it? It's an Arrow Max suit. Basically does what it says on the tin, keeps you dry. We've got zip pocket, a uh, zip at the bottom for the legs and it's also got a popper. So it just tries to keep as much water out as possible. It's a bit too big for me and it's starting to get a hole in the bum now. So I do notice it, but it's not too bad. I mean, I've had this for age. It's probably the second longest amount of time I've had an item is this. Um, there's only one here. I'll find the other one in a minute. A wet overboot. Bought these off Team U. I think they're about 36p each. You literally, see if I can do this. You literally just slide them over the top of your boots. And then they keep your feet nice and dry. Like so. It's not done properly, you put it up tight. But it keeps your feet nice and dry. Um, I think I'm going to get in there. Oh, and the pressure on my bag, obviously I take a clear visor for when it is raining or dark. So I've got a nice clear visor. Red Racing, which was before Adam Nichols from Apollo. That's what their team, that's what Apollo car chassis used to be. They used to race under that. So once again, it's an old visor, does the job. And yeah, I mean, basically that's everything which I take with me carted. Sometimes I might take an underlayer in case we're at Buckmore in November as usual, or I might take a different pair of gloves with me because I've got so many pairs. I've also got, if I know the weather's gonna be bad, I've also got a pair of Adidas race boots, which I use. But apart from that, that is my essentials I take to all kart races.